time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. It is the Ryan Report. Well, of course, it's on v-103.com. Always one of the most active views posts in history. It's also being brought to you by Harris, Cherokee, Casino, and Hotel. I like the way that's listed. Casino first, then hotel. You should only go to the casino after you're tired. Or you only go to the hotel after you're tired. Let's go into Candy Burris, the reunion show on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, she's in love with a guy named Todd. Todd uh, went on the Africa trip with him, but stayed in the background. His name is Todd Tucker. Now, according to Candy, she says, we were in Africa on the last day of the trip. We hung out and we had so much fun and we kept communicating after that. How far has the relationship gone, Crash D? They're saying it's so advanced by now that they're moving into a spot together. Ooh. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she gives uh, Phaedra Parks credit for introducing them. So, good luck, Candy. We all know that the Fun time is going to happen when the sheets go up. <laughs> Based on your toy collection. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Todd. <laughs> and Rihanna, doing what she does best. Making everybody go, what is Rihanna doing? Uh, over the weekend, she tweeted a picture of herself in the uh, Coachella Music Festival, calling it her party spot on the shoulders of her bodyguard, doing everything. She's definitely partying, and she's definitely sharing whatever yeah, she, she's partying. She's on the, the guy's shoulders. Uh, people don't know what she's doing on one of the pictures. We're trying to get a better picture of it. It looks like she's either messing with some kind of white powder on his head. Some people say she's cutting up something on his head. But that would be really hard to pull. Yeah, I don't think that's that's not a. I mean, he may be bald, but that's not exactly a hard surface in which you want to do that. I want to chop up my cocaine on his head. But I mean, these pictures. I mean, that's Coachella. You're supposed to party when you go there. I like the other pictures when she was in the little white string bikini, putting on the suntan lotion and waving her arms around. Then all of a sudden, whoop a doo, it kind of came off a little slip on purpose, maybe. Yeah. Well, you got coming from her. Come on, it's always on purpose. All right. Uh, Dr. Dre talking about the hologram of Tupac. They caught up with him in L.A. where he's always going out to eat and asked him about some other possible holograms. And could there be a hologram tour? Here's Dre. Hopefully, you know, different artists are able to bring out their favorite artists. Hopefully we can see Jimi Hendrix and, you know, Marvin Gaye and artists of that type. Let's see what happens. Interesting. You don't have the cocaine, bitch. You don't came in. You don't start up a cocaine. All right. Let's move on to uh, <laughs> Oprah Winfrey, who, you know, was in town the other day. Yeah. Just walked through the CNN Center. And, of course, people like, that, that that is. Yeah. She was here for uh, Tyler Perry's play. Yeah, she was down in underground and everything. Just underground? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> no, she ain't going to underground. <laughs> Even people who are lost don't go to underground. <laughs> Uh, she will be back, though. She will give the uh, graduation speech for Spelman College next month and also receive the National, uh, the National Community Service Award. So Oprah will be back. All right. All right. And Kevin Hart uh, talking about his ex-wife and how they have to have a relationship even if they aren't together. Listen, as as long as you're in the entertainment business and you have some type of success and you're going through a divorce, this can go on for 15 to 20 years. Mm. It's it's mm-hmm. just what can happen. You have no control over it. Mm-hmm. You can never stop it. One day you can wake up and she can say, hey, you know what? I want to go back to court because I feel this. She can legally do that right. as long as she wants to. It's my job to say, hey, regardless of what you're doing, I still love you because you're the mother of my kids. I'm still going to treat you with respect and you're my friend. I don't get into that. Because at the end of the day, my blessings ain't going to stop. My life ain't going to change. Mm-hmm. I'm happy. And, of course, the motto is, at the end of the day, we have got to stop saying at the end of the day. <laughs> That's your Rye Report right here on the People's Stage of B103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.